my name is Peter and I'm a system consultant at Savio. You may know me from our previous video where I showed you our RTLS TDOA kit. Today I'd like to introduce our Wi-Fi kit and guide you through the installation process. Just like in the previous video, I'd like to show you the components first. In the kit you will receive Wi-Fi enabled anchors that come together with a plastic holder to mount them. You can power the anchors by using a PoE or by using a battery pack. You will also receive three Lion tags and one Picolino tag in a special IP protected housing. The anchors communicate with the RTLS Studio running on the client computer wirelessly by using an access point. You can also connect the RTLS Studio or client computer with the access point by using an Ethernet cable. When you are mounting the anchors, you should follow a few simple deployment rules. All the anchors should be at approximately the same height above ground. They should also form a cubic structure, if possible. The difference in height between anchors and tags should not be greater than 5 meters. And when you are using the tags, please make sure that they are at least 15 centimeters from the ground. All tags and anchors should ideally have a clear line of sight between each other, so you should take that fact into consideration during the deployment process. First you'll need to configure the access point by using a predefined configuration file provided by us. After that you should place the access point ideally in the center of the location area so that all anchors get a good Wi-Fi coverage. Then you can start deploying the anchors. Once you have deployed the anchors you can check their Wi-Fi connectivity. The LED on the anchors should be turned off. This shows that the anchor is properly connected to the wireless access point. To access the RTLS Studio you will need to launch the VirtualBox image. Open VirtualBox, select your image and press start. You will need to wait until the image is fully loaded. Once the image is fully loaded, connect your computer to the RTLS Wi-Fi network. Let's access the RTLS Studio by typing the following address into your web browser. You'll need to enter the user credentials and then you'll be able to access the studio. The RTLS Studio is our comprehensive software for setting up and monitoring the entire system. It also features a detailed analytics tool. In this tutorial we will only focus on the tools necessary for setting up the system. Let's start with the RTLS Manager. Once the manager is loaded, go to the Anchors Summary tab. Here you will see a list of all your anchors. If you cannot see the list, press the Rescan button. You have to make sure that all your anchors are online. Then you will need to select your master anchor for synchronization purposes. To do this, go to the Anchors Initialization tab and press the green Initialization button. You will have to wait until the process is complete. If you see the following warning, simply press continue anyway. Once the initialization is complete, the manager will automatically suggest the best suitable master for you based on the highest overall score. To choose this anchor, press the green set as master button. This will set the selected anchor to the master status. Once the master has been selected, you need to check the synchronization of the other anchors to the selected master. Go to the Sync Stability tab, select your master from the drop-down menu and press the Go button. Then you will see a so-called synchronization graph. You need to make sure that all anchors in this graph lie beneath the 2.0i value. If some anchor exceeds this threshold, like this one, try and rotate that anchor a little bit. Now we can see that the anchors are synchronized correctly and we can continue. Then you should go to the Tag Summary tab. Now you can turn all your tags on. To turn on the Leon tags, simply press the button on the side of the enclosure. To turn on the Piccolino, simply insert a battery in it. Then you should see all of your tags listed in the following table. The table also shows you information about the tag, like its refresh rate, its battery life and so on. You can also use this tab to wirelessly reconfigure any tag. After this we are done with the RTLS manager and we can move on to the visualization. Launch the SenseMap visualization tool from the RTLS Studio by clicking the SenseMaps icon. 
First, you'll have to go through the Sense Map tutorial. You will create your own virtual building, type in the name of your building, type in the name of your floor plan, and load it into Sense Map. Then you should set the scale of your newly created plan. You can also set the axis origin point. Then simply press the save button. After that you should manually place all the anchors by a drag and drop feature. Then your text will be added and after that the tutorial is complete. After the SenseMap tutorial is complete, you should have the tags and anchors placed on your floor plan. You should then adjust the anchors coordinates into precise positions by using the anchors edit button. You should repeat this step for all anchors in the system. Then grab one of the tags and try to walk around the room to see if the system is performing well. That's all for today. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us, and if you run into any trouble during the installation process, please use our support center. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.